29 of November 2017. Okay, I'm uh, creating an educational video to talk about skin diseases in dwarf hamsters, mainly the lower part of the body. That is called ventral dermatitis or contact dermatitis. Now, this is quite a common problem in hamsters that are kept on, the, on wet bedding, wet litter. And uh, and I will show that a case, a case study here. This is a winter white, winter white dog hamster has been having this problem for several weeks. Now, in many cases, it is due to the dampness, the dampness of the of the bedding. Now, what are the signs and symptoms you can see? Hair loss, redness, hair loss, redness, and this is a male hamster. In fact, you can see that he has been licking his uh, scrotal area as well. This until he's bored. Now, so you can see the whole body is inflamed and it's very itchy. The hamster also starts to bite here. Now, the, the, the thing is that I want to show a, a normal hamster. Now, I will bring a normal hamster here and we can compare the two. Of course, this one is a bit... The way you see the normal hamster, there's no hair loss. Although he does... He, has, he doesn't have a ventral dermatitis, you can see. This hamster doesn't have the lower body. Lower body still has a lot of hair. So. Let me hold it here. Yeah. A lot of hair. So, so there's no ventral dermatitis. So you can compare. You see the pores are not red. Although there's some some areas of hair loss, but generally there is no no ventral dermatitis as compared to this fellow. So that is the uh, the difference. Now now the treatment is we still have to anesthetize it, anesthetize it and uh, shave off all the hair because some of the hairs are already infected, infected with uh, with uh, bacteria. It's like urine scalding in, in rabbits. Huh? Urine scalding in rabbits where the whole skin is, is burnt. But this one is dampness. So now we we'll just put under gas 5%, closed circuit or semi open 5% and a flow rate of higher 3, 3 or 4 so that we get the gas in fast and uh, knock out the hamster for, for shaving. So the clipper will, will be used to clip because if the hamster is active, it's dangerous to clip. It may clip the ears and it may clip the it may clip the skin due to movement. So normally this container will take quite some time. So we try to put as close to the nose as possible. And uh, when the hamster stops moving, we will start clipping. My assistant will start clipping as much as possible. And then if the hamster wakes up, we have to put in, put him into this container again. So the whole body will be bored, clear, clear of, uh, of uh, hairs, because the hairs is contaminated. Now it's going down already, I'm getting ready. And uh, my system will take over, okay, and uh, demonstrate a bit of the clipping. I won't be showing the whole clipping, but uh, this is just to show how we do it. Best is put here, but it's difficult here, I know. The, the danger is that uh, of overdose because this hamster is already not, not in good health. So we will be careful. Okay. Try and shave as much of the backside as possible. Yeah. Then might just put there as okay because it's not comfortable, not easy. Yeah. As much of the backside as possible first. And uh, normally uh, the whole back area first. Forget about the top. Because apparently the hamster has been licking the back area. You can see the black pigmentation. There's something black and scaly on the back area. Yeah. 
Of course, we try to be as fast as possible. Stretch the body and uh, systematically so that we, we, we don't have to go back and forth the same area. Okay, so we go go one area, stretch the body, hold the stretch the body. Yeah. Okay. And uh, as you can see, it's very difficult to do it if the hamster is awake. Okay. Yes. Doesn't need to be very short, but has, at least have the hair cut off. Yeah. Especially at this junction, the junction with the skin infected area, including the ears, are this. Yeah. I'm surprised it's still sleeping. Normally it wakes up quite easy, but this part there, yeah, the junction between the the hair loss area and the normal skin, the junction, the line there. Yeah. Okay, then we we'll go over here. The junction here, yeah. This is where the new areas, the infection is underneath here, the junction here. As much as possible, you're under the neck. Careful the whiskers, yeah. See, he's so weak that he's still sleeping. Mm. As much as possible, there are skin warts. I noticed as well, skin warts. Yeah. But whether this is a cause of itchiness or not. Now, we have to clean up the sand gland. Later, we we'll clean up the sand gland. There is infected, you can see. Okay, I think this one should be okay already. We just concentrate on the top part, Let's try and get it as no, short as possible so that the body can breathe. Mm. See, I pull the skin. I'm still surprised he's still sleeping. Normally it should be should be awake, but because he's weak, he's weak. That's why he really cannot wake up. I will stretch the body. Uh, stretch up first. Later we will check whether there's ringworm or not. I use ultraviolet light. Later. I think it's getting up already. I think we almost finished. Almost finished. Now let's see the face, huh? The cheek. Below the ears, yeah, yeah. So 5% isoflurane gas, probably a few seconds, is enough for this hamster. But uh, actually, for the normal hamster that is not having skin disease, it might be, it may, may, may not be sufficient. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah. So now we check carefully. So we do the sand gland and uh, put it back here. Do the sand gland. Just pick up the the the, the and then I don't know whether he, this this fellow has inner gland disease or not, but we can't tell. Yeah. Okay, sand gland. Let's do it here. Yeah. This is a forceps to to dislodge the the secretions yeah. there there is a secretion there that's not the forcep because it's quite this hamster is quite worried now yeah. okay I let let her do put down straight down so I can focus yeah okay the sand gland is the, uh, the part is impacted, you see, or the dirt. The clean up, this may cause irritation as well, yeah. It's deep in, uh, deep in, still inside, it's like the belly button. In a way, it's like a belly button, yeah. This might cause itchiness as well. Oh, okay, finish. Try not to. Is it's it finished? Smelly. It's smelly because it's been a long time. Yeah. The hamster couldn't do it. 
Okay, finish here. Yeah? I mm. stop there.